Well, this is it. Welcome back to the final and last episode of acceptance testing, the secret to building successful software that stays that way for longer. Now, a valuable contribution which BDD makes to the discipline of acceptance testing is that it adds certain vocabulary and conventions which standardize the precise version of English that could then be used as specifications. A critical difference is BDD places a higher emphasis on the how of facilitating the conversations between technical and business people. Now, like all BDD tools, there's not really any great mystery to how it works. They're basically all based on text matching. Literally anything where a misunderstanding of requirements could lead to a flaw in the design of the system and you need more analysis. This is how the outside world, our user, will send us events to our internal business objects. Also, let's not forget the benefits that come from the intellectual exercise of elaborating the requirements early in sufficient detail and through examples to overcome the chasm that exists between the technical domain and the business domain.